Hi, my name is Sandra Beasley. I'm a poet and memoirist from Washington, D.C. And today I'm sharing the poem, How Do I Love Thee? Otherwise known as Sonnet 43 by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. I love thee to the depth and breadth and height my soul can reach when feeling out of sight for the ends of being an ideal grace. I love thee to the level of every day's most quiet need by sun and candlelight. I love thee freely as men strive for right. I love thee purely as they turn from praise. I love thee with the passion put to use in my old griefs and with my childhood's faith. I love thee with a love I seem to lose with my lost saints. I love thee with the breath, smiles, tears of all my life. And if God choose, I shall but love thee better after death. This poem became particularly important to me when I was working on a collection that's called Count the Waves, which is actually a purposeful mishearing of let me count the ways, let me count the waves. And they were all poems about how do we negotiate love across distance, which in Elizabeth Barrett Browning's story was at first, you know, a distance imposed by the outside world, by her illness, by her father, and then later, you know, became the distance of as we travel further and further away from how we grew up, how do we maintain our ties, how do we stay grounded. Um, well, not to add a thoroughly anachronistic note, but um, I put about 80,000 miles on a car uh, in the space of about four years. And it was primarily for poetry and the love of poetry and the love of lovers of poetry. And I think that that period of time was tremendously liberating and painful and wonderful. And I celebrate anyone who gets the, the chance to take that type of risk. Um, so for me, yeah, <laughs> it might not be that, that a love has to be across long distances in the long run, but I think po poems and loves that are forged during distance can be really powerful.